Hello friends, welcome to CAD CAM station. Today in this video tutorial, I am going to show you that how you can get start with the solid cam which is an add-on for solid works right here i'm using uh, older version of solid cam inside this older version of solid works so this tutorial i made for beginners so make sure you watch this video till the end because this video is very informative if you like this video and want to watch more of these kinds of video make sure you hit the subscribe like and share okay and write down the comment below into the comment section and let me know that what other videos you want to see in the future uploads you can also support me the link given into the description as well so without wasting any time let's get started so first thing let me show you that uh, this is the basic component which i design inside of the solid cam let me show you what are the dimension i'm using here this is the simple block I'm starting with. These are the dimensions in millimeters as you can see on your screen. Okay, so and what is the extrusion value I am using here is 25.4 which is also equals to 1 inch. You can click OK. Now I'm using the extrude cut feature on top of it which is 1 millimeter deep. And these are the dimension of this rectangular section as you can see on your screen and uh, here is the extruded cut feature one millimeter okay after that I have done the linear pattern feature which you can uh, get while getting into the features and now let me show you what are the setting I'm using in the edge selection I choose this edge as a direction one and uh, solid object i choose this block this is the distance i am using to make the multiple copies up to 10 okay so after doing this just simple click okay you will get something like this well now is the time to use the combine feature which is basically i am using to combine multiple components into one select add and select all the different components which you want to merge into one and then click OK. This will do the work like this. OK, now at the end, I am using extrude boss to make a stock, which is I'm going to use to make a stock body. And I'm going to use that stock body inside the solid cam just to make sure that I am working with the right working area so i'm using the convert entity feature and extruding it up to surface as well you can also here i can show you that up to surface you can select the top surface to make this is and uh, make sure you just uncheck the merge result to make uh, two different copy otherwise it will make single object and after that i choose the change transparency so I renamed these two solid bodies like this and I'm going to change the transparency as you can see here. From there you can change the transparency. Sometimes it is very important to make the stock model transparent just to select the inside of it. Okay now is the time to save the component and after that you can click solid cam, new and milling. Here is the op windows pops out which shows you that what name you want to enter for your solid cam part. You can name it whatever you want. Okay, just for the tutorial, I am just giving it a simple 10 pockets and click OK. Okay, after entering into the solid cam interface, you will find something like this. On the left hand side you can see CNC controller and this is the post processor which you can use according to your machine's specification. Right here I'm using Fanuc and in the coordinate system you can click on define and uh, there are plenty of operations available to 
um, assigned the coordinate system i'm using select face just for this tutorial you can click on the stop surface and it will automatically make a coordinate system on the top center of the whole body right here you can um, change the position of this coordinate by using the uh, the options available just down below of that then you can click ok once you are satisfied with this ok you you can change uh, values here as well all the things but you can simply click ok and ok to get back to the original interface now is the time to give the stock there is the option you can select 3d model and then you can simply select the 3d model which you just make the transparent here is the transparent body which you want to use as a stock body so in order to do this you have to uh, click on this define button and after that you can click solid and hold down the sh uh, shift key and select the solid body and click ok you can also click on show button to uh, make sure that you are selected you are selecting the uh, right uh, object after that you have to click on target which is the main component like here make solid and then click on the center part it will highlight it so click ok you can also let me show you that once you click on show here is this zooming in as you can see here this is our main component just to make sure that you're doing the right things okay now we are done with the controller coordinate system stock and target there are a few other settings which you no need to make any interaction with now is the time to create operations for doing this you have to go to the operations right click on it then go to add operations in the HSM section which is high speed machining you can click on it this is where you can create all the operations this is the operation name section where you can name whatever you want there is the technology where you can change different operations and uh, just for the simplicity of this tutorial and quick I'm just directly leave it as it is I'm gonna go to tool select the tool add tool from different tools select and mail and you can change the diameter of your tool whatever you want in my case i'm using 10 millimeter you can change all the other parameters as well if you know those so this is the da default tool database so here is you can change the spindle speed or the rpms as well as the x y um, movement of your tool as well as the z feed rate this that is it you can also change the uh, rotation of your tool clockwise or counterclockwise as well as per the right hand side or left hand side tool available at your uh, inventory after that click select now it is time to uh, get to the create boundaries section there is create automatically selected just for the simplicity i'm gonna leave it as it is okay then go to passes you can mm, give the width or give the material on the floor and wall give the tolerance you can also uh, give the step down as well whatever uh, according to your material and your tool you can assign the step down okay so this is the uh, negative one value i'm using in the z bottom section up to which i want to work there is a smoothing option adaptive step down option available and it passes and analysis you don't have to mess with these settings because if you know what you are doing then you can go with it i'm using bi-directional and all the settings i want to leave it as it is if you know um, what you are doing as i mentioning before then you can mess with these settings if you don't know what you are doing then you can leave the settings as it is uh, it will not leads you to the accident so it is advised to not to um, change any values other than step down and 
the level up to which you want to create after that you can click on save and calculate it will calculate the tool path and here is the simulation section click on the highest speed and then play now you can see on your screen there is the tool path working on the screen and on inside the pocket which makes sure that we are working on the right area if you feel that your toolpath has some discrepancies and you want to make some changes if it is necessary then you can simply close this simulation window and uh, go back to your original uh, window where you are making all the parameters uh, changing so there you can change the depth of cut even you can change the speed speed uh, as well then after you are happy with your uh, after that after uh, making any changes you have to again click on the save and calculate and then you can uh, click on simulate to make sure that you are uh, working in the right region as you can see on your screen here so at the end of this simulation if you are happy then you can uh, create your gm codes as well in order to um, uh, transmit those gm codes inside your um, vmc machine so there are two options available you can directly use your uh, usb drive to um, and uh, collect that uh, information gm codes here is the G codes available for you and put that G codes inside your machine. These are the GM codes available. You can save those GM codes and wherever you want and right inside your uh, USB drives or you can just simply use DNC software uh, like Simco edits and there are lots of software available on and you can use those to transmit or make communication between the uh, computer and uh, your VMC machine. I'm using PRG uh, as a extension um, uh, because the VMC I'm using uh, working with a uh, recognized PRG uh, extension. Otherwise, you can uh, select dot NC or dot tab uh, and uh, other whatever the your machine recognizes then afterwards you have created and saved your uh, project you can minimize it and you can uh, search for your programs uh, where i have saved let me see where it is so here it is the program i'm gonna send it to the simco edits then you can make necessary changes like this all the settings i am having here these are the GM codes at the end we have M30 once you are happy then you can simply transmit this uh, codes right inside your VMC to work with your project so I hope you enjoyed this video uh, and uh, let me uh, okay that is it and uh, I will show you more of these kinds of video in the future let me uh, just tell me what other videos uh, you want to see in the future I will give you those tutorials as well okay as I already told you that I have something uh, inside my mind to share with you and I will just I need your support so that is it for now you are watching CAD cam station signing out for now